Hi, kitty cats. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to do the February favorites. And I have a sprinkling of things here to show you. I don't have any clothing stuff for February. February went by really fast, which I think February always does kind of go by fairly fast. Um, and I also have been ill a lot during the last couple weeks of February especially. So uh, that's what's been going on. I do have stuff here though and I'm very happy to show it to you. And if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and then you'll get updates when there are more videos coming up, other favorites videos, and plenty of other stuff. Plus, we're going to be doing something new soon, uh, if all goes well, called Monday Masks. And I'm going to have like a little chit chat um, while trying out a new mask. And that's going to be starting fairly soon. So, that was going to be fun too. And I'm still going to have the vlogs. I know I've been ill the past couple weeks, so there was no vlog. Because I wasn't, I, I don't think you just want to see me laying around. There really wasn't anything else going on except me kind of just laying around. I did get a little bit of mail, <laughs> um, which I think I'll just squish that all into one vlog for next week so that you can see all of that. So let's get right started. I'm going to start off with smelly things. And to begin, I'm going to show this is a Renews It air freshener. And um, my daughter usually uses them in her bedroom because she uh, can't use like a Glade scented plug-in or anything. Um, she does burn candles sometimes, but she when she burns a candle, she forgets about it, and that makes me really nervous. So I prefer to just have something like this in here that isn't going to like destroy anything. Um, so this one is Hawaiian Oasis, right? Yes. And I like it because, one, I think that because it's black instead of the usual beige, most of them are, it's kind of nice. And then the scent is like very, like, pineapple -y or something, or mango. I don't know, it's, it does smell very uh, tropical. So I don't know Hawaiian so much as tropical smelling, tropical fruit smells. And so it's nice, but I'm actually, I've actually been using this one in the bedroom. Why am I making this face? Because I sipped a little too hard. It was like, whoa, it's really powerful. Um, because uh, lately I've just been needing... We had, we had a skunk recently in our basement. And the smell is still in the hallway. And I'm, so I've just been like having lots of nice smelling things around to try and like hide the odor. But... It doesn't really work that well. Nothing really works. If you've ever dealt with a skunk, it's just awful. Anyways, the other favorite is the uh, Caramel Pumpkin Popcorn. It smells really good, and I know. Why are you still liking pumpkin things, right? That's what you're saying. I always like pumpkin things. You can give me pumpkin stuff all year long, and I'm going to like it. That's how much I like pumpkin. And this, I'm... You don't smell the pumpkin that much in this, as much as you smell the caramel. And uh, that's kind of why I liked the scent, was for the caramel. I mean, the pumpkin helps, yeah, but I really got it for that caramelly, sugary scent. I love sugar scents. So, and that's been in my living room area. And then also, for scenting myself, we have cotton candy. Like I said, I really like sugar scents. My daughter actually found this. She wanted one. And then I was like, ooh, I want one too. So there we go. Cotton candy. Um, it's Body Fantasies, which I think is fairly like cheap uh, 
body spray brand, but it works for me. So I actually have a different one called, uh, I think, Vanilla Fantasy. And so Vanilla Fantasy, Cotton Candy, those are, I like, like I said, I like sugary, like baked good type scents. I feel like my glasses aren't on straight for some reason. Hi, Waffle. He's gonna bathe himself over there. I don't know if he, he, I don't think he's in the line of the camera. Um, anyhow, the next thing I'm gonna show is skin stuff. And many, a couple of these things are samples um, that I had gotten. This one I got in my Walmart uh, box. And this is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Boosters Facial Cleanser. And I'm seriously thinking that I'm going to purchase this because I really like the scent. It's white tea and vitamin uh, A. Boosts softness, evenness, and radiance. And it won't over dry skin, which I don't know. I'd like to, but then I'm thinking, oh, spring's coming. I might not have so many dry issues. So we'll see whether I repurchase this or not. I do really like it though. I think it's very good for winter skin, which it was the winter Walmart box, which I got later because I didn't, I just started getting them. So, but I did really like this. And then uh, this other sample, which I think came in my birch box, which is Neo Bay Natural Organic Oxygenating Cream Moisturizing. And I really like this for using uh, at night. I've been using it as my night moisturizer. It smells wicked good for one thing. Like, I can't explain the smell. It's just a really nice, nice smell. Like a nice fresh smell. Uh, I wonder what that smell is actually. I don't know. There's aloe in it and rose oil and a whole bunch of other oils. I think it's the chamomile that I'm smelling. Um, it's really nice. I really like it. And it came, like it's very said that it came out of my birch box. Would I purchase this? I don't know. I'd have to, um, I don't know. Because most things that come in my birch box, I find to be really expensive for me to buy like full price. So I don't know about that, but we'll see for future. But it is really nice, and if you are able to afford it, I would su definitely suggest purchasing it. It's been a nice moisturizer. I'm almost out of it. It stinks. This is Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. All in one. Removes makeup, even waterproof mascara, plus cleanses and refreshes. All skin types, even sensitive. This stuff is freaking amazing. And it's funny because a friend of mine actually called me the other day and was like, what do you know about micellar water? And he called it something else. He called it my micellar or something. I don't know. I don't think he, he knew exactly how to say it. And I was like, oh, I think it's micellar water. I think that's how you say it. And, um, and uh, I said, actually, you know, that's a funny story because the first time I got my cellar water I did not like it because the brand really sucked and then I was told oh you should get Bioderma but Bioderma is a little pricey in my opinion and I saw somebody else talking I think in their favorites about the Garnier one and I was like oh um, I'll try that one and I tried it and this is amazing I no longer am worried about like I've <clears throat> Excuse me. I've had a really hard time finding something for eye makeup remover. Like, really hard time finding something for eye makeup remover. It's been horrible. Everything that everybody has suggested to me has not worked out. Um, coconut oil is very popular. And coconut oil just makes a mess all around my eyes. Like a greasy, giant mess. And yes, I can wash that off. But I just don't like the greasy, giant mess. I feel like, um, and then microfiber, you know, face cloth, I tried that and I felt like I had to rub too hard and I don't want to have to rub that hard. So, and I, I tried, um, I did like Aveeno, uh, eye makeup remover pads. I liked them a lot. 
and there's been a few others that have been okay, but this is amazing. Like, I don't have to work very hard at it. It comes off very easily, the eye makeup. Uh, mascara comes off, everything. I love this stuff. I would suggest it to anybody that is looking for an eye makeup remover that they don't have to do a lot of rubbing because I feel like it just comes off really easily. I don't have to work at it. This stuff is neat. Does it feel greasy? Not really. Like, I can tell that there's some sort of, like, oil or something in it. But it doesn't feel so greasy like baby oil or coconut oil felt like. But it definitely, it, it feels like something between water and oil. It's, 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 it's an odd feeling, but it doesn't feel bad. Like, I don't feel like, ooh, my face is all greasy now. I don't feel that anymore. Like I did with um, coconut oil and baby oil I tried for a while, too. No, I don't feel that way with that at all. So that's been great. Love it. Now, moving on to some other things. Well, this uh, hard candy, um, I got the hard candy uh, nail polish here, nail color, and lace me up. And this is like one of those toppers that you use. You can see it. I really loved this. Um, I put on like different colors. I think my daughter put on white and then she put this on top. What it does is it has like little splashes of black and pink. So it looked like there's splatters on your nails. So you, you could do it without, I mean, something under it, but it wouldn't look as good. I used, I did it with a couple different nail polishes. I especially like this, um, this uh, pale, like, lilac color that I used and put this on top and found it to be really, really nice. You know, I don't have anything on my nails now. Um, sorry. I wish I did, but I don't. Uh, but this was really great. This was a favorite this month. We had, we had fun with it. So I would definitely suggest getting that. And I didn't even know that Hard Candy had nail polish. I didn't know they had any nail polishes, so I was really pleasantly surprised by that. The next thing we're going to do is another Hard Candy uh, product was, I love Hard Candy blushes, and this is the an ombre baked blush, a glow all the way ombre baked blush, and punch. And it's like an ombre, let me open it up for you you can see. It's like an ombre and I'm sorry my nose is like itchy. Um, so one side and then the other side. So if you see, so this is more like the blush. I mean this is more like the blush here and this is more like the highlight and they're pretty highly pigmented and or you can use them together. There's like a little bit lighter color you know in the middle. I really liked it. It was it is a really nice blush. I've always liked Hard Candy blushes. I would suggest them to anyone. Hard Candy is a great company. I don't know why people don't. Just the other day, I was somewhere on the internet and somebody was like, I never even heard of Hard Candy. And I was like, how have you not heard of Hard Candy? I really like it. I don't know who owns it. Um, says who it's owned by. I know that um, the only place I've ever seen it sold, however, is Walmart, which is a little sad to me because it would be great to be able to get it someplace else as well. If you know of someplace else you can get hard candy besides Walmart, please let me know. Um, but usually when I go to Walmart, uh, I find the hard candy products there. Yeah, and they're really, really nice. So, next, we're going to do some eye makeup and we got some Maybelline stuff here. Everybody knows about the new color tattoo uh, crayons and I got this one in oh, where's the color? Gray Crystal. There it is. Let's watch it here. You can see it there. It's a nice color. Um, I used it a f quite a few times. I liked it a lot. And I liked it even more when I used it along with, this is funny, instead of a crayon, I got the color tattoo 
uh, eyeshadow. 24 hour, and this is too cool. As you can see there. It's like a really... pearlescent color. And uh, it seems like very white, but it's very glowy. And when I used those two together, it was actually really nice. And when I used, and then, I don't know, I was very into like winter colors. Like I consider those to be like winter sort of frosty colors. I had, with my Ipsy points, gotten this uh, EM Life Palette Mini, as they call it, where they have eyes, cheeks, and lips. I didn't use the lips, to be honest. I haven't used the lips at all. I have used the eyes and cheeks. I especially have used these colors, which, let me, my fingers are all, uh, let me clean my fingers off for a minute here, and then I will swatch them for you. Lucky for you, I have these cleansing gloves. I keep wrapping my drawer. Yay! So that I can... Get all that off. Yay. Now. Yes, so the colors I've been using, they don't have names on them. When I was filming my favorites, I got cut off and I didn't see that I got cut off and that my battery had died. So I'm just gonna finish this up. We were talking about the EM Michelle Fawn. Is that how you say it? Fawn? I think that's how you say it. And that I got in this cute little thing with my Ipsy points. And it's really nice. It's got some great colors in it that I've used. I've used the blush along, and what I really like is that you have lip stuff in here, which I did not use the lips yet, um, but I have used the blush and some of the eyeshadows. And I really like the fact that there is all these in here. The only thing is, is that some fallout could easily get into the lips because this is all, you know, regular powder and this is cream. But otherwise than that, I think it's a really great, great little thing to throw in your purse. I used it, um, I was going to New York and I had grabbed this, oh, sorry, I feel like something's there, but there isn't, is there? I'm just crazy. Anyway. So, this is a great little product, you know, with all these in here. Well, it's products, I guess, but I just, I love, I like the packaging. It's cute. It's easy to use. There's a mirror. And I really love this color for just an all over, like, you know, base. And this color really see how pigmented that blue is? I mean, it's this light, light, sparkly blue. And I use some of the other colors as well. This dark one. I actually used the dark eyeshadow as an eyeliner. And it was really, really nice. I really like this. It was a favorite. Well, it was a favorite during... I'm just... My words aren't coming out right. It was a favorite during February. Now that it's March... Um, I'm still using it a little bit. I, th I find it to be a very wintry look, which that was, you know, what it was for. Uh, was for, it was like Winter Bunny, I think it's called. It doesn't really say. It just said the Life Palette Mini, but I know, oh, here it is. It's Winter Life Ice Bunny Edition. So, and I really, I like Ice Bunny. Like I'm hippity hoppity on my way for the ice. Uh, so I think it's very, the especially this color makes it very like that, gives it that icy, wintry sort of thing. And it worked out really well for me that day um, when I went to New York. And I've used it other days as well. Uh, just a great little compact of colors there. So I really, really, really enjoyed this. And so I think that's it for my favorites. And there'll be plenty more of things to come. Uh, there's a haul coming up, there's a try-on coming up with some stuff from Gwinnie B. Um, 
and something also uh, a dress I also got from Torrid. So it's going to be lots of things coming up. I hope you enjoy uh, during March the videos that I have to show, plus my vlogs. Plus, I am going to get my cooking channel started soon. I know it, it hasn't happened as quickly as I wanted it to happen. Or that I promised it would happen, but it was due to illness that I just haven't been able to get caught up yet on it. But it's coming soon. Okie dokie. Bye kitty cat.